Hi, this is Paul from Trainworks. Um, I thought I'd try something new. Um, actually, I have a little video of myself um, in this uh, in this video and uh, some other stuff I uh, I'd like to try. Um, the main goal of this video is to uh, explain something about RW or Railworks tools, which is uh, software that's free now. It's a really handy tool to uh, to be able to make some changes to your uh, your real works or train simulator uh, setup and uh, something I want to focus on for today is swapping rolling stock uh, a problem that occurs a lot of time especially with uh, Gothard panoramic route is that people are not able to run the scenarios because they're missing rolling stock um, the scenario will just not it will give an error and uh, it will not start that's obviously annoying. It has to do with the fact that there is a lot of material needed for these scenarios to run. Uh, there is a lot of freeware and payware that needs to be uh, installed uh, because of the large amount of AI traffic. It looks great, but it's also pretty heavy on system resources. And obviously you need to own and install all these different uh, assets. Anyway, if you run into problems and you just can't afford or can't buy or, or uh, can't, uh, uh, can't find the correct rolling stock, there is a way to, to get around that by changing out engines or, or even wagons for ones that you do own. So um, I'm going to show you how that works. Um, I, I have not, I, I, I use RW tools uh, for this kind of thing. I've not been part of the development or anything like that, so I'm just a user and I just tried it and find, found that a lot of things are, uh, are really, really good with this, with this software. So without further ado, I will, uh, I will start by going into this program and uh, go into the Scenarios tab and then go to Edit Scenarios. You will now get a new window which will, on the, in, uh, on the top, part will show you the routes that you've got installed. So for now we're going to choose Gothard Panoramic and then once you've highlighted that the bottom window will show all the scenarios that you've got. Uh, I've got a lot obviously, uh, you might not have so many but uh, you will see all the scenarios that are available for you. So let's say that you found that running the scenario called B3, Auto Verlade Zug nach Eerstveld, uh, is not running because of missing rolling stock. If that's the case, you can uh, highlight that scenario and uh, go to edit selected scenario. It will now uh, sort of look for all the assets and load that in the system. And it will give you a new window, which is quite big. Um, some people might be a little bit put off or scared by this, but trust me, it's, it's not that difficult once you know what to do. Um, this screen has a lot of information and a lot of buttons and, 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 and things you can do, but for now we will only focus on swapping out stock. First thing we need to do, or at least I always uh, do it this way, is to clone the scenario with a new name. Uh, you can save this to the original scenario if you made the changes, but I like to keep the original scenario and just make a new scenario that clones it, but with the changes that I do. So we start by changing the name. So for instance, uh, we put number five behind this or whatever number you think is, uh, is suitable. And uh, maybe I will put uh, an X in front of it so that I can, uh, can find it easily. XB3, Autoverlade Zug nach Eersveld, number five. So I've changed it and what I'll do now is go to clone scenario with new name. That's the first step that I'm gonna take so that anything that I'm gonna do, play around with, make mistakes, uh, won't really matter because it will not mess with the original scenario. So I'll put clone scenario with a new name. It will put a note there saying that if you clone a scenario, the scenario itself is, uh, is saved. And now after that, you must make the changes to the rolling stock. That's a separate thing. So I'll press okay. It now says your uh, scenarios property XML has been updated. So that should all be fine and it will revert back 
to the screen where you choose your scenario. So again, I go into Gotted Panoramic and there should be uh, a new uh, scenario called XP3 Auto Verladersoek Nak Airsoft number five. That's the one that we have just created. So um, again, I'm gonna open that, edit selected scenario. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, it, will, uh, it will now open that cloned scenario. Okay, there we go. So what are we gonna do now? We wanna swap out some, uh, some engines, just as an example. If we go into this uh, screen, we can see uh, a window called Consists. If we click on the top one, it's a loose consist and it exists of these wagons. Uh, selected consist exists of, of these three wagons. It's just a loose consist. These things are standing around somewhere. Uh, and the same goes for all the other things. Sometimes it's just an engine or just a wagon. Sometimes it's a couple of uh, wagons or a whole consist. We go down the list and we come to, to red marked um, consists. Uh, if they're marked red, it means that they're actually moving in their AI traffic. Um, and there might be some other colors and things that you see that I don't, but at least these are the two most important ones. For now, I'm going to go into the Hupak um, consist. Uh, this is the like the uh, the Hupak train that will drive by. Some people have problems with the RE485s not showing, so you will see the uh, the, the scenario will run. Uh, and uh, and and for some reason there's a problem. <clears throat> uh, that's why I'm taking this example, but you can you can do this with any consist. I think the problem might be that these are repaints that I did a long time ago uh, for um, uh, RS Italia's uh, BR185. I think it was made some repaints for it. Looked very nice, but it's an old uh, loco. They I don't think I don't I'm not sure, but I don't think they uh, they have uh, you can download it anymore. So many people can't get this. If you didn't get it before, it might be difficult to find. So what I will do now is uh, change these two RE485s for two other uh, engines. So <clears throat> obviously we want to use engines that we've got. Okay, now we come to the third uh, most right. Uh, window and uh, you can you can see assets here this is the folder structure in your asset folder that's where all your uh, your assets are I'm gonna choose for some creative works assets if I go into creative works I can see the various uh, engines and I'm gonna go for the re44 which is re420 um, I'll I'll tick on electric because I only want to see electric it doesn't matter in this case because everything in here is going to be electric but still if there's more you can you can sort of filter the list by by uh, by, by clicking here if i if i do this and i press find available rolling stock it will load all the available engines in this folder so only ra44 or 420s if i go a level up to creative works it will load all the different creative works trains like 620 460 and everything we don't want that now so we'll go into the 420 and then find available stock you will now see that the list is created with all the re 420s that are uh, or 44s that are available and uh, what i'll do is i will swap out the uh, the front engine with the 506 the bls 506 uh, re 44 I can do that by highlighting it. So what it will do now is it will change the one on the left for the one on the right. And uh, to do that, I can press swap selected items. That will uh, uh, swap it out and uh, make sure that, uh, or change it to, uh, to that chosen engine. That's the simplest way of doing it. I can also choose swap all identical. In that case, it would swap all identical engines or wagons in this selected consist for the one that I've chosen. So if there were two RF485s, uh, BLS Cargo Dirties, it would change both of them to the 50644. Uh, the next step is swap in every consist. That means that it will swap this engine uh, in every consist that is used in this scenario. So uh, the, the B3 scenario might have more consist where this, this logo is, uh, is used. 
Um, and if I want to make sure that after changing one, the problem doesn't st still uh, occur because of uh, it's used in another consist in the same scenario, I could choose that and do the swap in every consist uh, uh, button. Or uh, one, one step even further is swap in all scenarios for this route. And then it will just go through all the scenarios for, in this case, the, uh, the GPR and look for that specific loco, the RE485 uh, BLS Cargo Dirty, and it will change, swap it out everywhere for this one. We don't want to do that now. We're going to do for the, the, the most simple one is uh, swap selected items. And uh, it, will, uh, it will do that. The second one we're also going to swap for, I don't know, uh, Interregio Control one. It's, it's not important what we shop it for now, but at least we know we've got it. Uh, swap selected items. Now they, these two have been swapped and uh, we can now save the, the scenario. We can just do save changes to scenario now because we've already renamed it. So we don't have to clone this one because it was already cloned. We can do, just do save changes to scenario. Uh, it will show your scenario bin and scenario pros, uh, properties have been updated. Okay. So that's uh, actually how to do it. And you can do this for as many wagons uh, or, or engines uh, uh, that you like, obviously. Uh, what we'll do now is we'll go into uh, Trend Simulator and, uh, and see if the new scenario has popped up. Right, so here we are in Trend Simulator. I will go into the Drive menu, choose Standard. We'll look for Gotthard Panoramic, and there should be a scenario now down here called XB3 Auto Verladezug nach Ersfeld number 5. And now we should be able to, uh, to start that. Obviously, this is not like a, a test that for me um, uh, works as it, as it does for you, because mine was working anyway. But the changes you would normally see is that now the scenario will start because of it doesn't have any uh, missing rolling stock anymore. So once the scenario is starting up, you should be okay and should be able to play the scenario without any further problems. So let's just wait until this, uh, this one starts up, just for the sake of it, and then uh, we should be ready to go. Okay, sometimes you'll get this. It's actually very good that this happens now. Sometimes uh, you need to, the first time you load that scenario, you need to uh, press edit if you get this and then save it again. For some reason, it might have to do with blueprints. Uh, it, it mismatches, uh, but after you've done this, it's all okay. So that's an added, added tip for you to, uh, to do. It, it won't happen all the time, but if it happens, it's easy to, uh, to fix like this. Anyway, this is, uh, this is what I wanted to show you. Uh, I hope it helps. If you like it, let me know. If you like me to do more videos like this, also let me know, uh, because I might be able to, uh, to tell you a lot more about these type of things. It could be RW tools or it could be something in, uh, in Train Simulator or something specific for my trains. Uh, whatever you would like to see, let me know and I will uh, try and, uh, and make this a recurring thing. Thank you very much for, uh, for watching and I hope to see you next time.